Sean from Just Imagine Journals in Australia. Today I have a loaded pocket folio for you with a theme of letters to my younger and future self. I've got a altered ancestor here and I have her backed onto some layered ginkgo leaves. These come in different sizes and I've enlarged them. You can see how I've done that. And then here I haven't completely adhered this so that it becomes a pocket, either for something secret or something that you'd like to leave visible. Open it up. And this is a, an embossed folder, which I've cut to shape. And when I open it up, it's like a little secret pocket here. And I've used another altered ancestor backed onto a ginkgo leaf on a little mini postcard. And I love this idea of all those little special tickets and memories of places that you've been or things that you've done that you find in a drawer sometimes and uh, it brings back all those memories again. This is a lovely slide made for me by my friend Jenny with the poppy which fits in beautifully with the other flowers here. And I have an envelope, a handmade envelope from the pa kit papers. So a poppy one and a, the blue flowers. And then we have, I'll pop those back. And then we have a letter to my future self and a letter to my younger self. And with these two, I've uh, put them onto lined paper. So you'd probably put it that way, fold it that way. And this one has the poppy paper on the back. And this one has the blue paper on the back with the blue flowers. So I'll put those back. Into the folio. That back and then we have another little pocket here with some things that fitted with the theme so a bit of lacy tag which could be a journal spot which fits with the elegance of the theme some postcards and this little journal spot as well and then on the back I have a poppy paper shaped the poppy paper shaped just to make it more interesting and then some um, handwriting text which uh, fits with the theme. Now I just wanted to show you a, a couple of brief things about the construction. So the shaped pocket at the front, uh, I've just used scrap uh, food packaging card and I use the embossing folder to cut that and then I've cut it to shape. And then I added gilding wax, and I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up, but that has a beautiful, rich, lustrous effect. And because I, I, I'm um, using this as a pocket for another project, you would only have the one flap, but that's a construction. You have the one flap and you adhere that under. And then you've got a second flap. Well, I use the embossing folder just again on scrap card. See the beautiful detail? and um, cut it to shape. But in this case, I didn't want it the same size. I wanted it a little bit smaller so that it, you don't see it when you first look at the loaded pocket. So that's cut much smaller and then adhered at the bottom. So that's very simple uh, construction. And then with the journal spot, it's simply a piece of uh, scrap card that I had or a leftover card and then I just had this little piece and stuck it onto the card. So then you've got a little journal spot uh, booklet. I also wanted to just point out something that I found really interesting. When I was playing with these cards, I wanted a vintage look. So this is the original of the, um, you can see I've started using it but the white background, and I wanted something a little more aged, fitting with the vintage look. So I've printed that on parchment paper, and you can see that you get a totally different color. And then here, these lovely pale blues, but again, I wanted it a little bit aged. And this time I've printed on this paper, 
and then you get this much darker colour. So even with it, that's one of the things I love about the digitals is that you can print them onto different coloured paper, different weight paper, enlarge them, reduce them, and it's very versatile. So there you have it, the loaded uh, folio pocket with the theme of letters to my younger and future self. I hope you enjoyed um, my video and I'd love you to comment because I always read and reply to the comments and I'd love you to give me a like. Thanks so very much for watching and all the details for the kits that I've used will be in the description below.